Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out a new monitor controller system from API. Let's get started. API has a long heritage of manufacturing some of the finest consoles in the world, along with preamps, compressors, processors, even pedals now. They brought that heritage, that technology, and that sound quality to a monitor controller. This is the MC531. Now basically the MC531 is the center section from one of API's consoles. It has all the same sound quality, a lot of the same features, but in fact it has some extra features that are going to make it ideal for the DAW workflow. The MC531 brings together three sets of stereo monitor outputs, a subwoofer output that can also be assigned to automatically come on with one of those stereo outputs. We have five selectable inputs, and actually we have seven sources that we can select among with those five sources, and we'll see how that works in a little bit. Two independent headphone outputs, talkback microphone. It's a fully featured center section. Let's take a little closer look at how all this works. Beginning on my far right, we have the talkback microphone here on top. It has its own gain control. And when you engage that, we also engage the dim function. The dim function drops the level of the monitor output down, and you can set the level here. Now the dim function is also available independently, so you can just dim the monitors if you like. A cool feature of the MC531 that I haven't seen on any other monitor controller is the ability to use it either electronically balanced or transformer balanced with this switch here on the front panel. We also have mutes for left and right outputs. We have a mono switch, and we have a cut switch, basically a mute switch for the monitors. We already talked about the dim control. Right here in the middle, we have API's trademark 41-step master volume control. That sets the level for your monitor outputs. As I mentioned, we have five selectable sources here, and actually there are seven inputs. The way this works is we've got the first three that are on stereo quarter-inch balanced inputs. So you can have three line-level analog inputs coming in on these first three steps here. The fourth source can be either USB or AES EBU digital input. This gives you the ability to have a wide range of gear feeding the inputs on the MC531, and you can instantly switch among those. We have two independent headphone outputs, and those can be independently engaged or bypassed, and each has its own level control. For the source for the headphones, we can assign either one to control room, which is what's coming out of the monitor outputs, or you can assign a separate queue using source queue and our five source select buttons, so you can have a separate source feeding those headphone outputs. We have three sets of stereo monitor outputs, and you select those using these three buttons here at the bottom, main, alt one, Alt 2, and then we also have subwoofer output that you can engage or bypass, and you can program this so that the subwoofer comes on with any of the other outputs. So for example, I've got it set to come on with my main output. And even though it's programmed to come on with the main output, I can still bypass that and engage it independently if I like. The form factor of the MC531 makes it ideal for desktop production. It sits right beside your computer monitor with the angled faceplate. It's very easy to see what's going on and select among the sources and the outputs, as well as the other controls. All the connections are here on the back panel, although we do have duplicate parallel inputs for the eighth inch jack here on the front, and there's a switch for pairing Bluetooth on the front as well. But what it all comes down to is that the MC531 delivers the sound quality you expect from the center section of an API console. Fantastic, top-of-the-line, pro-quality audio makes it very easy to monitor all your sources. And again, it's perfectly designed for a DAW workflow. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.